Yeah. You see the motherfucking boss, Slim Thugger, motherfucker, the boss of all bosses. That's right. AKA, he who the king of the mouth is was one. No okay, so I'm just gonna be doing a real quick video on Apple's latest update to the desktop operating system, which is OS 10.7 Lion. So this is the obviously the successor to Snow Leopard. Um, uh, aesthetically, you could say there has been a, I mean, not a huge deal, but there has been a bit changed. Um, as you can see, just from looking at the dock here, um, you can see the notifications buttons are different. Uh, you know, just general type of things that you can see that are different here. So I'm just gonna go through the dock real quick. You got the Finder, nothing's changed. Um, Launchpad, which is brand new. Now basically, you can navigate through all your apps in an iOS. It's sort of their implementation of iOS and their desktop uh, software. And I gotta say, it works pretty well. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, no real lag or anything. It works, uh, I'm doing this on my MacBook Air, so I just get two fingers, swipe across. Um, yeah, I haven't seen any problems with it. Is it useful? Uh, well, depends what you consider useful, but I guess I would be using it. Um, the gesture for it is three fingers and a thumb swipe. It's a bit retarded, but uh, yeah. In general, it looks pretty good though. Um, I guess it's useful for some people, like I said. Mission Control, um, you can see pretty much everything that you have open. If you had apps open, it would also show it, so I might go ahead and uh, open up Safari here. Safari's also been changed. You, you might notice it looks um, different aesthetically. So, we have Mission Control here. You've got your apps open. Now, it tells you right there it's Safari. Um, you can go on your dashboard here, which is now like a separate page, I guess you would call it, or a separate desktop um, to your standard desktop here, which is pretty nice. I don't use dashboard. I never really have. So, uh, I don't think it's going to change anything. You can also add other desktops. As you can see, I'm using four fingers. It actually adds kind of another dimension to it because you can... With your four fingers, it's kind of like you can interact with the um, desktop, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, just a little note, if you have a MacBook, you can use four fingers, swipe across, change desktops. That is a pretty useful feature. I'll get into Safari, but I'm just going to get out of it right now. Um, but I love the changes they've done to Safari. They did a good job with that. you got the App Store, which is not really new. came out a few months ago. <clears throat> you got the Dashboard. You've also got Mail, which just has different notification systems. They've revamped it as well. It kind of looks like the iPad's Mail. Uh, Google Chrome, that is not included with this, obviously. And I'll just go right through the dock here. Um, and yeah. So, if I open up a Finder window here, you can see that you have a scrolling bar, uh, I guess you call it, that disappears um, temporarily, I guess. After you're done scrolling, it'll just disappear. Um, they've revamped the side here, you can resize windows any which way you want, you don't have to have this side dragging thing down here, although you can if you want to. Um, you got your shared devices, you can do uh, airdrop, it's really cool the features in here. Um, for $30 US, I, I think it's a really good update. And so I'm going to go into Safari right now. So as I said before, they have changed it and I love the features that they have put into it so if I and I'm just going to show you this feature really quick but if I go to say uh, just type in news CNN will probably come up news.com.au okay so let's say um, I have to head out the door but I really want to read this article I'll just hold shift and click it and this is added into my reading list this has got to be by far, also, sorry about the lag, I'm doing this on my um, MacBook Air, it's getting pretty hot, but uh, yeah. So, this has got to be my favorite feature in Safari. This is amazing, because this is what I wanted them to put into it um, from day one, because you have to open up all the different, uh, all, all different tabs, and it just gets messy. So, yeah, that's a pretty nice feature. It's a very small feature, but very needed. So if we go back into the dock here, you see iTunes, I don't use it that much. Photo Booth now does um, full screen HD recording and apparently you can edit it as well. Again, I don't really use it so don't really care. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much 
all that I'm going to show for now because I don't want to make this run for too long. Um, the login and the lock screen has changed and they look really good. And up here, you just have your username, which is standard now. And uh, yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty good update. The wallpapers, I forgot to mention, are a bit lackluster uh, of what they normally include. They're a bit pixelated. But uh, yeah, I always look forward to the wallpapers, but a bit of a disappointment. So yeah, overall, really good update. Um, for $30, you can't really complain. So uh, yeah, 250 features. If you want to go and check out all the features that are included, um, I'll throw a link down there and check out what's new. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more.